Okay, so I'm Kami G, the tornado one. So basically what happens is a tornado rips through your fort, throws enemies and heroes in the air. So I think it's going to destroy some build. Um, we'll, we, you know, we'll find out if all of the trap tunnel gets broken, if some of it gets broken. I'll probably maybe have to try build some of it back if a lot of it does get destroyed. And I'm going to put on Husk Swarm, which mm, turns all enemies into basic husks, but they get to be a much higher level. But I think this is best because that way we'll get what gets smashes and stuff. We should be able to survive with our trap tunnels. But like I said, with the tornado and such, uh, we might get uh, surprised by what happens. I might even want to just do this. Oh, <laughs> there it is. It just chucked me in there. That does damage as well. So does it destroy stuff as it goes past? Let's see what happens. Uh, oh, no, it's not. It doesn't. Oh, wait, is it destroying stuff? I can't tell. Oh, yeah, it, 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 um, it damages it a little bit. But because of the way my base works, it will repair itself. I don't know if it'll repair itself fast enough. I guess we'll find out. But we can also get the time cheats to make this a bit easier. Uh, one of the simulations actually stops you from getting the time cheats, which is probably one of the easier ones to do. Because, you know, all we have to do is let our trap tunnels do the work there. But as you can see, the enemies are 176, which, yes, is a crazy level. But because our traps are amazing, they're not even making it through the first bit. And yes, this thing has not taken anything out yet. Because our build has the repairs every 10 seconds. I think it's something like that. Uh, we're not having too much trouble. Oh, ooh. has it got rid of the traps? Why are the traps not there? Oh yeah, it's got rid of some of the traps, but not all. That's interesting. I mean, it doesn't matter too much now because, you know, nothing's making it past the first bit. But whoa, sh no! <laughs> I need to make sure that doesn't happen again because I could die here because I don't have adrenaline rush on. I should probably uh, put adrenaline adrenaline rush on. All right, let's try and stay away from the tornado then. Okay, let's see what's going on down here. Still, yep. Yeah. So. If you're wanting to run war games, literally just for, you know, some tickets, like you don't care about the challenges, you don't care about anything else, I definitely recommend putting it on Husk Swarm because it is genuinely just the easiest one to do. Because you don't get any smashes. Smashes are the real problem in this game uh, because, you know, they want to just smash. <laughs> and then you can't get any lobbers or flingers either, which would also be a problem here because, it, you know, if you get lobbers and flingers at every spawn you're gonna have to build a lobber shield and flinger shield everywhere and there's just not enough structures to do that i don't think but yeah you can see this is going really easily thankfully i'm just wanting to look at the spawn here because as i do these war games i want to you know fine tune the trap tunnels um build them as perfectly and as efficiently as possible so they spawn all the way at the back it looks like um and then to the side they don't spawn too far to the side probably put some walls there with some traps on just wanting to figure out you know what we can do to make us do more damage at the start but it looks like we don't even need to uh, we should probably put that the other way actually so husks can't go up it yeah, th these uh, these trap tunnels probably don't even need tweaking. I actually crafted loads of 130 trap tunnel uh, trap tunnel <laughs> traps, as you can see here, and I was gonna replace all of the traps with them, but at the moment it doesn't <laughs> seem like there's any need to do that, which is awesome. Uh, let's see if we can get the lava ball to fall, because I kind of want to see if there are any more ceilings we could put down. Or any more walls. Oh no. 
Oh, <laughs> we landed higher up so we didn't take any damage. That's awesome. Oh, there's the lava ball. So yeah, it's, it's kind of in the middle there. It took them all out. That was, that was hilarious watching the, the lava ball take them all out. But yeah, um, I'm not sure if we'll be able to build any walls anywhere to extend the spawn traps, basically. But as you can see, we might not even need to change anything. Uh, yeah, this seems like a very easy simulation. Which, in turn, means easy tickets. Oh, the thing actually came in the trap tunnel. That thing's not even going anywhere near stuff. Okay, well, we don't want it to break those ones, but it didn't go near it. That's fine. Yeah, it couldn't even get rid of a level 1 uh, staircase. It doesn't do a lot of damage. But... Uh, as I said before, it does get rid of the actual traps in the tunnels. So if you were doing Tornado and you hadn't put it on Husk Swarm, you might uh, run into a lot of trouble with Smashers because you obviously don't have all the traps that you usually would. Which, for Smashers, you kind of need all of your traps, honestly. Alright, this is going really well though. Hopefully, I can, you know, do all of the other simulations this easily because it means a lot of tickets for me. Oh, boy. Well, I think I'll probably just end the video here, to be honest. I don't want to waste your guys' time. You probably don't want to see the rest of it because it's just going to be the same. But, yeah, so this is the Tornado Challenge. Um, don't forget to look out for other... War Games videos because I'm gonna put out one for literally every single simulation whether I succeed or fail you know if I fail that lets you know that that simulations you know might be too difficult to do or you have to change things up a bit you might have to get a full squad in with teddies something like that you know but yeah I, just, I wanted to get these out so that you guys can see firsthand what they're like if you haven't got to try them yourself but yeah, if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.